Much discussion has recently taken place over the issue of public execution. Some opponents of capital punishment undoubtedly feel that the gruesome nature of public execution would quickly erode popular support for the death penalty. The same people are convinced that execution by the state is as immoral as murder by the criminal. This conclusion is based more on emotion than on logic and fact. It overlooks the legitimate concerns of society and ignores the need for personal accountability and just punishment. Criminal homicide is a deliberate act, not accidental, but the result of a personal decision. In order for any system of justice to function properly, individuals must be held accountable for their actions. Therefore, the offender is not executed as a matter of public whim, but as a consequence of his own decision. Law defines both the nature of and penalty for criminal activity. These penalties provide the most effective incentive to promote proper behavior among those who would otherwise resort to crime. By reducing the severity of punishment, society removes the strongest deterrent which exists to help certain people regulate their behavior. Execution is neither retribution nor revenge, but rather the most severe punishment for the most violent act. Its value as a deterrent does not rest in the mode of execution, but rather in the certainty and finality of death. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the church at Rome, upholds the government's responsibility to punish the evildoer and asserts that he, the state, does not bear the sword for nothing. What opponents to capital punishment who support the televising of executions in order to reverse public opinion be as willing to televise in graphic detail the daily abortion of thousands of children? Kenneth Fatula, evangelist, Berwick Church of Christ, has responded to a WBRE editorial. Copies of Mr. Fatula's remarks are available on request.